The Greenville community rocked last Friday by an explosion inside the Dicastle factory. At least one person was injured. And this afternoon, we have even more questions than answers at this point. Michael Martin joins us to explain. This isn't the first fire we've seen here at Dicastle's Greenville plant. We spent Monday afternoon walking down Greenville's main drag. Everyone I talked to, well, they weren't surprised to hear about another incident like this at the plant. For those that actually saw or heard this one, though, they say it was by far the most significant and the most concerning. My first thoughts was, I don't know, about meteorite hit or was it uh, jet crashed or something or another or did something fall on a house late friday as darkness began to fall an explosion lit up the area immediately surrounding dicastle north america's greenville factory i was just sitting in the dining room playing uh, cards all of a sudden we uh then we heard this loud explosion Scared living daylights out of it. This is a video a woman captured on her security camera 20 miles away. The explosion happened in the foundry portion of the plant, injuring at least one employee. Well, my son was sitting on one side of the table, and out the east side of the window, he could see a big old fireball. And as soon as he said he saw a flame, I figured it had to be Die Castle again. A fire broke out at the auto manufacturer in September 2019. Then a month later, in October 2019, and another fire in July 2020. Being in the store, we've had a few conversations with customers about it. Friday's explosion starting to seem like part of a worrying pattern to some Greenville residents, including Alethea Stevens. Did you hear it? And can you believe this happened again? Because it's caught fire multiple times. People we spoke to say they worry about the safety of their friends and family members who work at the plant, which was also raided by the FBI in July of 2022. Details of that search are still sealed. People work on there, I'd be concerned. <laughs> I wouldn't want to work there. Because there have been a lot of injuries and it's only a matter of time before serious injuries. So crews are going to be out here for some time getting this area of the factory back together. We will continue looking into how this happened and what's being done to make sure something like this doesn't happen again. For now in Greenville, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News.